Hey guys, I'm Dale from Consider Tech. Today, we're going to be talking about the AirPods Max. So, first we're going to talk about my initial thoughts on the AirPods Max. First off, it is unbelievably expensive. Like, 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 actually too expensive, to be honest with you. Like, uh, like, it just... It's, it's, it's not, I don't think it's worth the price, but we're gonna go through this whole video, talk about it, combat it, anyway. Doesn't look really good in my opinion. It, it, it really does not look good. It doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look good. Like, like, new Beats products look amazing. The new Solo Pros look amazing. Well, they're not new anymore, they're like a year old now. But the Beats Solo Pros look amazing. Any other Beats product looks amazing. AirPods don't really look that bad. AirPods Max, well, not so nice. They have a digital crown on top now. Makes it look like an Apple Watch on your head. So, a really big Apple Watch with no screen. So, that was a cool feature that they shouldn't have added, but that's okay. But anyway, they also have a uh, carrying case that looks like a purse that you're carrying around. Let's get started on the specs. Technologies are there's an Apple designed dynamic drivers. So pretty much the exact same stuff that's in your AirPods. <laughs> they have active noise canceling, cancellation, transparency mode, just like AirPods Pro. They have adaptive EQ, just like AirPods Pro. They have spatial sound with dynamic head tracking, just like AirPods Pro. They have a new eight mics for noise canceling and three for calling. I don't know how many the AirPods have, so don't ask me. They have one H1 chip per ear cup, which means they have two H1 chips. I find it very odd. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get the reason behind it. I guess they really want the audio to be good out of one singular driver in each ear cup, so. I don't know what they're thinking there, but it's okay. Let's move on. It has one button for noise canceling, or noise control, sorry. So noise canceling, transparency mode, basically. Noise canceling, transparency mode. Off, I guess. <laughs> basically the same thing as when you hold on AirPods Pro. Um, they have a digital crown for volume, which is nice, they have actually volume. Uh, they have a digital crown for volume. You press the digital crown to play, pause, you press it twice to skip, three times to go back, and then you press and hold for Siri. And again, like I said, it's very similar to AirPods Pro, um, that, except for the volume, because it's, a, because it's a digital crown, except for the volume, and a separate button for the noise control. Other than that, it's pretty much the exact same thing as the AirPods Pro. You can see the theme of what I'm trying to get at here. Um, they have a smart case that you put your AirPods Max into, and it's it put it into sleep mode. It does not turn them off. It puts them into, and by Apple said a low low power consumption mode or something like that. So, so so I don't understand the point of that. I guess maybe the point is because I know with my AirPods, right? Like if you turn them off, put them in the case. Find my just. Turns off, of course, right? And it's the last known location they were on. So if they're in this low power mode, maybe Find My is always on. Which is kind of cool. Except for the whole fact that they're headphones, and why would you lose headphones? They have 20 hours of listening time with noise canceling or transparency mode on, not in off mode. They have 20 hours of listening time with spatial audio on. They have 20 hours of talk time. Basically, everything is 20 hours, which is really nice. That is a really long time for headphones to be on. Especially headphones, not just earbuds with case. Headphones. Very, very nice. I, I, I really like, I mean, the old Beats X that I had, again, review up there. The Beats X that I had, actually there's multiple reviews up there, because there, I did like three reviews on them, I think. Um, They only had like eight hours battery life so 20 hours is a lot of time they do have quick charge just like the regular airpods the airpods pro um you have five minutes of charge gives you an hour and a half of listening time 
um, which is really good for when you're in a pinch, you know, you just want to plug them in and go. I've used this multiple times on my AirPods Pro. Um, it's a great feature, and I love it. What with the ranting stuff? Come on, guys. They still have a lightning cord. Out of everything Apple could have done, they could have put it on the new, really expensive product, USB-C. You know, that would just make sense. Also, today, I just saw that Beats Flex are a thing, which are like the new Beats X. Didn't know about this till today. I'm sorry. But they have USB-C. Why can't they put them on the headphones? I don't understand. Like, it kind of makes sense because, like, they need to put USB-C on the iPhones, they think, first, right? Because then it would make more sense. I don't know. It's just something more to complain about. You know, USB-C is just kind of one of those things that everyone complains about because it should be on the iPhones. It should be on the iPads. Wait, it's on the iPads. <laughs> it should be on the iPhones. It should be on the Apple. No, it shouldn't be on the Apple Watch. What am I thinking? Be on AirPods. AirPods and phones. All they really need to add. It's on the Macs. It's on the iPads. Why would you put it on an Apple Watch? It's a wireless charger. So, I mean, just iPhone, AirPods. Boom, done. USB-C, everything. Please do it, Apple. I know you're not listening to me, but you should do it. Then we have the goods and the bads. So first off, the good. The good is that they look like they have a very comfort-focused design. Like I said, they may not look good, but it looks very comfortable. That, that headband with the, the weird mesh thing that looks extremely comfortable because as you can see uh these right here if you can see these um those are my beats and those are not comfortable i mean they're comfortable but they're not like i can't wear them for more than like what an hour probably hour two hours whereas these i mean you could probably wear these for the full 20 hours like it's just crazy um looks like comfort is basically all that's important because looks become normal, like especially with an Apple product, I find like um, AirPods were called like pea shooters, right? The toothbrush AirPods, right? So now this is just going to be another thing that's going to become popular. So no one's going to question the looks of it, right? That's just how Apple is. Um, the three cameras, two cameras on the back of the iPhone 11. You know, everyone made fun of that. Does anybody make fun of it anymore? No. So, it's just Apple, and it's one of those things that just, they become popular. Another good thing is that they seem to be just a big version of AirPods Pro, which is really, really good because I extremely love my AirPods Pro. They are literally the best headphone earbud that I personally have ever tried. They have noise canceling, they have spatial audio, um, which is incredible. They have transparency mode, but again on the spatial audio, if you haven't tried spatial audio, it is just weird actually, because just the way that the two the two little earbuds make five virtual speakers technically, and the only really really movie that I've used this with was Avatar, um, but especially when you use it on an iPad, it's just insane how like it's a big screen because it's an iPad. You have like the spatial audio is really cool and then you'd like look over here to this side of the iPad and then the, the audio switches to like this earbud and then you look this way and it switches to this earbud and it like morphs and it's, it's just weird and then you move the iPad and then the spatial audio moves as well. Like it uses so much energy from the iPad from the earbuds to like move around it's just it's really 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 cool really weird. It's amazing. Anyway, um, it has all that, but it's a headphone. So the sound, which is great in the pros, right? Um, actually, really good in the pros for what they are, um, should be amazing in these um, headphones, in theory, right? They should be. They should be really good. Usually, a headphone sounds incredible compared to the earbud, right? That's just how it goes. Now, on to the bad thing. To begin, 
with it's like way, 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 way overpriced, in my opinion. Now, I know you're gonna have some Apple fans that are like, it's cheap, but it's not. It's not cheap at all. And I have proof. Well, I don't have proof, but I have something. So, think about the Apple lineup, or AirPods lineup, sorry. The normal AirPods start at 219 okay, for the AirPods without wireless charging. Then, 269 for the wireless charging case added on to those AirPods, okay? So that's 269 we're at now. 219, 269, okay? That's a, it's a little jump, it's good. Then, you know, you add the AirPods Pro, which do introduce noise cancelling, transparency mode, spatial audio, um, better fits in your ears, it has a way better sound just be mainly because of the ear tips, right? It has water resistance. It has a bunch of, a bunch of different things, and it comes standard with the wireless charging. That's an extra little bump, and that is uh, $329. These prices, you know, they're going slowly up, you know? The, the pros add a lot, so they jump a little bit more, right? Stuff like that. Then, they release these, and they said, you know, let's double the price of the AirPods Pro, which basically have the same exact features as these headphones do, um, except these are headphones, so that, that doubles the price, right? And they released them at a whopping $779 Canadian. I think it's $569 or something like that, American. Like, actually, what were they thinking? It doesn't come with any more features than the AirPods Pro, except for the higher battery life. Um, they're a headphone, so they should sound better. And um, the, the, the volume. That's all they add. Right? Like, it's not really that much more, I think, to double the price. You know? A $550 price tag, a $500 price tag, right? Like, that's roughly like extra 200 bucks right then the airpods pro that's fine 200 dollars for volume for a bigger chassis right for two extra h1 chips you know the, the, it does add up but i don't know if it adds up to almost 400 dollars more i don't know i am not a designer i am i don't know what apple went through to make this headphone i don't know if they really Justify the cost, but I don't know. I, I, I really don't know anymore. But, because we can't go on for that much longer because I will have a heart attack because I will be screaming at the end of this. So, we need to move on. And, do I recommend these? I always say that at the end of my videos, so, do I recommend these? For the normal person, you know, like me, you, Abbott, who's editing this video, the normal everyday person that can't afford a $779 pair of AirPods Pro, then, no, I, I think you should not get these. Um, that's pretty much all I got for you. I mean... For the person that really wants the best of the best Apple and they want to look rich, rich, rich all the time, um, then sure, go ahead. That's your money. If you want to waste it, then go ahead. But if you are a normal person, then there's a lot of cheaper ones out there. Like, for example, I have here. If you want to stay in the Apple ecosystem, okay, you have the Beats Solo Pros, which I talked about at the start of this video, that look better. Um, they have the pretty much same features as AirPods Pro, except for spatial audio, um, which kind of sucks. Cause, but like I said, spatial audio is really insane. Um, but they have the noise cancelling, they have the transparency mode, they have all that stuff. They have lightning port. They like they look better than the Maxes too, um, and uh, they're just that much better, in my opinion. Then you have if you if you don't care about the Apple ecosystem, right? You have the Sony XM4s, which on Amazon are on sale for three hundred and forty-eight dollars at the time of making this video, and four ninety-nine regular price. So it's five hundred bucks 
taxes, 500, 10 bucks, itch, ish, you know, you know the taxes and all that stuff. It's, again, it's still Canadian. That is expensive. Um, it's more expensive than the uh, Beats, but Sony XM4s are known for literally the best noise cancelling out of any headphone, earbud, whatever. They have the best noise cancelling. Um, and they, they also have transparency mode. They also have, you know, good sound quality. They're Sony, so they have decent qual sound quality, stuff like that. Um, but, like I said, the, the, the Beat Solo Pros, even though they don't have the spatial audio, they have pretty much the same features as those XM4s, except for, you know, XM4s are, like I said, better noise cancelling. But, they're basically AirPods Pro in a headphone. They look like Beats, so they're nice. They're, like I said, only $380, which is significantly, uh, both the same price it's a little more than the AirPods Pro, but it's also a bigger headphone, so it makes a lot of sense to me. Now, those I think are more worth it in my opinion because uh, going from going to AirPods, right? I had the H1 chip or W1 chip, doesn't matter. If you have AirPods or a Beats product that has those that chip and connects to your iPhone or iPad or Mac or pretty much any any Apple device like it does. And there's with my cat breaking and things. Um, it is amazing. The, 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 the amount of connectivity that it does is actually... The amount of uh, connectivity that it does is actually incredible. It just kind of works. Like, um, it's, it's really, really, really cool. The way that, you know, it connects to my iPhone and I'm, I get a call or something. And, and then I get off the call and I start watching YouTube on my iPad. It's just instantly connects to my airpods and we're watching the video then i get another call or a text or whatever and the notification or not the notification sorry the call comes right through the iphone you answer it instantly you have airpods in on your phone again like it's just it's so instant and it's so so cool um same with your apple watch and so on and so on the the pairing process and the 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 connectivity the integration of the Apple ecosystem is is really incredible that Apple's doing, and that's what Apple's really good for, right? Keeping you in the Apple ecosystem. But basically, this video is, like I said, about the AirPods Max, and I, I really don't suggest them. They're, they're not that much better than, in my opinion. Again, we'll have to listen to them. We'll have to they'll have to get ordered. You know, they'll have to. You know, I'm not gonna order them. I'm not crazy. But we'll have to see what people come up with and, you know, see if they actually are worth it or not. But at this point in time, just seeing the them get released, they're not. See you in the next one.